Hi, today we are going to make a sunflower earring like this one and like this one or this one or this one. They are all there in my shop. So you can see this beautiful sunflower earring is made by one of our wonderful customer and it, she has made earrings out of it. So to make these earrings, uh, we will start looking at the structure of sunflowers and you can see sunflowers are beautiful and people love to wear these earrings. I have made so many earrings which uh, resemble sunflower and people buy them a lot. So let's start. So here is my document ready, my illustrator document. I'm working in, on my illustrator and on my artboard again. I have uh, guides which are these they are set up right in the middle of the artboard and I have this 2 into 2 inch box to confine my design into an area so uh, I am sharing this with you today because these are my one of my best sellers they, these designs sunflowers people love to buy them and make them so how I'm going to make this structure today I'm going to show you that so to make sunflower what I'm going to do again I'm going to choose my pencil tool and draw a simple line like that again I will I'm uh, informing you that I'm working with my mouth I'm not using my Wacom tablet so simple simple shapes which can be made with the help of mouse but this is not uh, good as I needed. I want the side of the petal to be straight. So I'm just going to do and something like this. Straight. Or something like this. Maybe like this. This is good. Okay. So now I'm going to reflect this shape. What I'm going to do is select transform reflect so now I'm going to reflect it vertically make a copy and with my arrow key on my keyboard I'm going to bring it to the other side now you can see these things are right in front of each other now I'm going to show you the structure of this drawing let me remove this and this so you see these are two different entities now I'm going to join them so for that I'm going to select my direct selection tool rubber band select these two anchor points go to my pencil menu select join to join and this will and click my mouse button and hover over them and this is going to make them in a beautiful uh, one anchor point finished line so this is very clean now you can see this design is clean. I, I invest a lot of my time when I'm building my designs right at this stage because if the basis and foundation is correct your design is going to be perfect so now we now what I'm going to do I will because to just to reference some flowers a little bit their petals are slightly rounded from here so I'm just going to bring it a little bit down like that just to make it a neat night a neat and nice design that's it I'm happy with that now let's see the structure into my two into two inch box confines so this is ready and I'll just bring it up there I'm going to make it a thinner petal you can see these petals are thin especially this one thinner petal and align it to the center of the artboard so I will always be aware of the dimension this is really simple now what I'm going to do I'm going to rotate this shape in a circle around a center point to put a center point I'm going to select pen tool and put a center point here and select selection tool and this point will be left here I'm going to align this with align to artboard center of the artboard these two horizontal align and vertical align put 
any object right in the middle of the artwork and again I'm going to select both of these and align them again horizontal align center so they are now perfectly aligned these two entities are right in the middle and I'm going to align them again align to the artboard and group them now I'm going to go to my effect menu distort and transform transform and this box is a representation is represented here right here so whatever I will select for example 30 maybe make 12 copies whatever point I will select in a preview you can see this petal is going to reflect around that point uh, just for the fun of it let's select this one you see just select this one or this one or but here what we want so it looks good we are, we are going to work with this shape okay so now I want a shape like that so they are not overlapping so what to do with that now what I'm going to do simply I'm going to select I'm going to select my direct selection tool and select the point in the middle remember we put the point in the middle now with the help of an arrow key on the keyboard I'm going to just use my down arrow and you see as much distance increases between petal and this point this becomes a shape like this so we are building shape slowly it will become an earring but this these are the steps which I take to make the shape so now I'm going to just alt and click and drag and I'm going to make a copy so I don't lose it if I destroy this one then at least I will have a copy so what I'm going to do now I'm going to give this shape a thickness of the petal which I'm aiming for a design like that where a line is thickened and it makes the shape of the petal so I'm going to go at least six six points and you see this earring is now not outside our two into two inch box so what I'm going to do now I'm happy with this shape I'm happy with this design so I'm going to select this I'm going to uh, okay now if I reduce the size from this you can see here I can do that too but my favorite is control Z. I will go to object expand appearance expand again fill in stroke is expand I will leave the stroke out no stroke and now I see the shape again expand and unite it loses its color but it's okay we can choose another color so now you can see and in the layer menu you can see what is this this is a nice compound path so this is what it is this earring is now in stages of completion now what I'm going to do align it to the center of the artboard again and reduce the size so I will hold my shift alt and arrow key from here uh, the handle transformation handle here and with the mouse I'm going to drag and look at the size it looks good I will like to increase the thickness of this part a little bit so what I'm going to do is so we are going to alter and uh, make this design nice with, with, when, with the time so these are all hit trial and error so this is my design I can leave it very thin like that but I want the people who will cut in leather to have a nice thick uh, earring so the leather won't tear so now it is almost done now you can see it has a stroke and it has a fill again I'm going to go to object expand and object expand one more time and unite for my pathfinder from pathfinder unite you can find path my pathfinder is always here because I use it all day long so you can find this from Windows Pathfinder here and my, I keep my panel here usually people have this on this side but I keep it in front of me so you can see this sunflower shape is almost done 
now we i want to put a little vein like this like this little tiny vein so what i'm going to do with that i built it really simply i build it i'm going to build it big and then reduce the size for that i'm going to go to my view menu show grid and i'm going to select snap to grid because i want to make a triangle with my pen tool so simply and with when when everything is snapping to the grid then you will get perfect perfect lines so i'm going to simply make a triangle from my pen tool so click here click here click how many points are there one two so click here and here to complete the shape there you go triangle is done object expand unite and now whatever i'm going to do this triangle this is going to keep it integrity of this shape and it will be easy to manipulate so i'm going to make a copy just in case and i'm going to uncheck the snap to the grid now if i bring it down like this and like this i can put this here in here like that. So this will make a little vein like that this one or this one now just i want to make it a little, little bit and now i will center it i will just increase the length of it so how i'm going to reflect this in these petals let's do this again select pen tool put a point let the point go with the help of selection tool select the point align to artboard right in the middle and with the help of horizontal align and vertical align select this select this point group uh, align them again group them and then go to effect distort and transform transform now we remember we choose this point we choose 30 and we choose we chose 12 copies there you go this is right in the middle now everything is separate let me get rid of everything hide grid hide my guides box everything how to make it into a complete shape like that in one complete shape one block so it is not going to cut in pieces so for that i'm going to simply make now remember these are right in the middle of the artwork so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take an ellipse from here, rectangle menu and ellipse and draw an ellipse. By holding shift and alt I'm going, and with the mouse click and drag, I'm going to make an ellipse, a perfect round and here you go. Your flower is complete right here, right like this one. So this sunflower is complete. Now I'm going to select everything. And first of all, I'm going to this little line. I'm going to object expand appearance and unite. And now I'm going to again check the alignment to the artboard. I'm going to put it right in the middle by you choosing horizontal align and vertical align. There you go. This design is done. So I'm going to select everything. I just wanted to show you how many parts there were just for just for your knowledge that this many shapes it took to complete a sunflower shape so I'm going to select everything object expand unite now this is one shape you can see it in the layer menu here this is a one shape one compound path here and align again it moved now this earring is complete but uh, just to make it more eye pleasing i can leave the circle like that but i want a hole right in the middle so what i'm going to do again i'm going to put select an ellipse change color so you can see and make a ellipse like that align everything in the center like this and punch this I'm going to make it a little bit bigger 
and punch this hole through this flower. Here you go. With the help of this shape and this shape, we have made this beautiful sunflower earring. And now I'm just quickly going to add a jump ring hole. So for that, I'm going to just make and just choose another color. Just make a circle like this with the ellipse tool. This is just the beginning. So now I'm going to select again, ellipse, click, select point 11 and point 11. I work in inches. So this is the dimension of the jumping hole I want. Now I'm going to put this right in the middle and bring this shape down like this. So this and align this and align this to align to selection and first of all align and make these two parts look good. Now if I choose this color and this color now you can see yellow and make a different color now you can see that this sunflower has ample material around this jump ring hole so align everything again to the artboard this is right in the middle I'm always worried about this jump ring hole because people are going to punch a hole or uh, I want machine to create the hole because if we are using a machine machine should do that work for you so a little bit here and your sunflower earring is complete so now i'm going to choose this circle and this sunflower shape and i'm going to object expand unite so this is one shape now this shape is a one shape and this circle now belongs to this petal petal shape what I'm going to do, I'm going to punch the jump ring hole through this shape. So I'm going to select both, go to my pathfinder, choose minus front like this. Here you go. So and turn off my guide. So this sunflower is ready. And this is how I built all my designs like this one, like this one, like this one. The earring that we created, this sunflower earring is available in my creative fabrica store for free so you, you can click the link from the description and when you will go to my store and this sunflower earring that we created is available for free so please download this design and experiment with this design and try to make your own earrings and join us next time thank you